Yo, yo, what's up, what's up? It's the one and only Hip Hop Gamer, and we about to do a benchmark. So this benchmark right here is for the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. This is the best uh, settings that I play um, that I play at using this new card. Um, the joint is incredible. So um, what I do is, <clears throat> excuse me, what I do is I play at 4K. I make sure that the full screen and the exclusive screen is on. Uh, I make sure uh, I set it to 30 frames per second, V sync on. The anti aliasing is all the way up to the highest it could be. So make sure you got a lot of video RAM, yo, because this joint will eat up your GPU. But I got like 11 gigs of VRAM on the um, RTX 2080 Ti. So yeah, that joint is dope. They works great. Um, I got my joint set to custom. So as you can see here, we got ultra, like everything is set to the highest setting. Motion blur, I always turn it off. I don't like motion blur. But everything else is at the highest setting. Now, before I run this benchmark, right, I know a lot of y'all is going to be like, damn, this is a brand new card. It can't do 4K 60, excuse me, it can't do 4K 60 frames per second. That's a problem. Listen, I'm going to tell you something right now. I understand that there's a difference between 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second. I understand that. But in a lot of cases, like, you won't even notice it. Like, this game is extremely smooth, extremely responsive. It's amazing, and I ended it already, and it runs great at 4K 30 frames per second. For anybody that has doubt about that, well, think about this. God of War is, like, rated one of the best games ever made, 30 frames per second, okay? Like, Spider-Man is out right now. People are going crazy, 30 frames per second. Um, Uncharted 4, one of the best games ever made, 30 frames per second. And these are all games that's running on console, and they're phenomenal. You understand what I'm saying? So don't let the 30 and the 60 get get you all bent out of shape. Now let's take a look at this benchmark. It's locked at 4K 30 with all effects on. This card right here is amazing. And with my last card, the GTX 1080 Ti, the GTX 1080 Ti did not perform like this. I saw like a 40 to 50 percent increase in performance. Um, so far with games that I've tried out. So this is one of them. Check it out right now. Now let's get ready to see some numbers. Now keep in mind, this is a, a, an incredible demanding game. It just came out. It just came out. So let me know what y'all think. But I'm telling you, for this to be locked at 4K30 with all these effects on, that's extremely impressive. And we still got more game drivers and things of that nature to come out. Take a look. This joint looked phenomenal. Look at the detail. If y'all was sitting in the room with me on my TV, the way it's all set up, you would lose your mind. This joint looks amazing. Look how smooth it is. And you know what's even crazy? There's a patch for all the RTX functions, the ray tracing functions that these game companies is using. Uh, to make the games look that much more realistic all that stuff is coming soon you see how it was locked at 30 frames per second right 4k 30 you see it it's smooth as hell and just as smooth as you see it is just as smooth as it plays i'm telling you i'm telling you man and i don't even have uh hdr turned on right now on this particular benchmark because for some reason, it doesn't uh, capture right when I upload it on YouTube or whatever, whatever, for some reason. But um, with HDR on, the game looks that much better. It's ridiculous. Here's what, I would, here's what I would say, and I was telling people this in my live stream earlier. Uncharted 4 is a console exclusive. But if Uncharted was on PC, this is probably how it looks. That's how much better this looks than Uncharted. Like, I'm, I, it's unbelievable. Unbelievably smooth, unbelievably uh, responsive. Like, it's crazy. It is crazy. So don't get all caught up with, oh, well, it's not 60 frames per second. So do not, I'm telling you right now, do not get caught up with all that bull about, 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second. Look at Drive Club. Drive Club on PS4, still to this day, 
does things graphically better than other racers, even on PC. And that's a 30 frame per second game, but you would not think it because the sense of speed and the response of time, you would think you're playing something at 60 frames. It's, it's all about making sure that the frame rate is locked and that the game is smooth. As long as the game is locked and it's smooth and it feels that way, I don't care if it's 30, I don't care if it's 60, I don't care if it's 120. At the end of the day, it's smooth and it looks good. And it feels good. That's all you need from a game. Look at this, V. Look at this. 4K 30 max settings. That's the RTX right there. I'm telling you, man, it's crazy. Look at that detail. It's unbelievable, man. It's unbelievable. So we go to um so that was the the best settings out of all, everything that I've done. Those are the best settings that I play at and it worked great. Um as you see it says average um FPS was 29, but but I don't know why it says that because throughout the whole joint you saw it was locked at 30. So I don't know why it says average FPS 29. It should be average FPS 30. But there you go. You see I'm running the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 1950X 16 core. That's an incredible processor. And, you know, we got the RTX 2080 Ti. So, look, it's the one and only hip-hop game of one love and God bless. I hope you enjoyed this benchmark. I got a ton more uh, benchmarks to show and a ton more games to live stream just so you can see the performance as I play it. All right? So, um, we out of here, man. It's the one and only hip-hop game of Hot 97, Logitech G, NVIDIA GeForce, baby. Vayner Media, 1.37 p.m. That's the team right there. Now, I'm going to talk to you all soon. Peace.